I'm going to cede my time to Sharona Whistler. Sharona Whistler? We do have six minutes on the clock. On behalf of the Zionist Organization of America, one of the oldest organizations in the country that has been committed to combating anti-Semitism, thank you for the opportunity to address this board. My name is Sharona Whistler and I serve as the Executive Director for ZOE Florida. I'm here to emphasize the points that Stacy just made that were made regarding the lies about Israel and anti-Semitism that were expressed during Western High School salutatorian graduation speech. The response from the school board and principal, although appreciated, was inadequate. More must be done. It is not just myself and Stacy here today who are demanding action. On July 8th, you all received a letter from ZOA which garnered over 1,000 signatures from Broward County residents within seven days of purely grassroots effort. It is with this united voice that we are standing up and speaking out to you to do your part. Unfortunately, the problem of anti-Semitism only gets worse when it isn't taken seriously. I cannot tell you how many times we've seen a school administration not take necessary steps to prevent the campus from becoming an environment where anti-Semitism is accepted and the problem just gets worse. We are already seeing an unprecedented amount of anti-Semitic incidents. Just this week, just the weeks in the weeks before the graduation speech was made, pro-Palestinian demonstrations across the country led anti-Semitic chants, leading to violent attacks against Jews in their paths. This happened in our backyard in South Florida. These anti-Israel mobs used terms, the terms Jews and Zionists interchangeably. They've cursed, threatened, and physically attacked Jews in broad daylight across the country. In Florida, a Jewish man in Hallandale had feces thrown at him outside of his synagogue. A group of men yelled, free Palestine, die Jew, and other expletives at a family in Bell Harbor while throwing garbage at them. A man in New York who was arrested for severely beating up a nep the nephew of a friend of mine during one such demonstration was proud of what he'd done and said that he would do it again. And just the other week, a rabbi in Boston was stabbed eight times while standing outside of the Chabad school where he worked. These are just a few examples of acts that are perpetrated against the most targeted, targeted of any religious minority by a large margin. We urge you to take the following necessary steps to demonstrate that Broward County School does not tolerate anti-Semitism. Publicly acknowledge the serious problem that those who approved the graduation speech did not recognize the distortions about Israel and the anti-Semitism it contained. As the IHRA International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition and Florida law make clear, demonizing Israel and denying the Jewish people's right to self-determination are examples of anti-Semitism. Next, institute mandatory training about anti-Semitism for students, teachers, staff, and administrators using the IHRA working definition and the contemporary examples it identifies as a guide. Finally, notify the community that these steps are being taken to demonstrate that it, has, it truly has zero tolerance for anti-Semitism and that it is truly welcoming, respectful, inclusive to all, including those who are Jewish and support the Jewish state of Israel. ZOA is here to help. We are here to work with you to ensure that our district does not become an environment that tolerates anti-Semitism. Thank you. Thank you.